For Our Foods. This is Chef Shima again um, for Our Food Ventures. Tonight we're at, or should I say this evening, we're at the Melting Pot. Um, we've never personally been to the Melting Pot, but um, after I did some reviews, I figured I would come. And again, we're in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, um, just enjoying different things, having a vacation, but pretty much a food vacation, if you will, if there was such a thing. So again, we're at the Melting Pot. It's a fondue restaurant. Um, again, don't know what they, you know, don't know what it tastes like or anything like that, but we'll soon find out. We're going to go inside and give you a picture or view of what we have there. And as always, after the video, I will give you my honest review. Stay tuned. in the melting pot now um, the thing is we did not have to wait um, we have not made reservations as a matter of fact I don't think I even knew that was an option um, when I did the reviews but um, when I looked at the reviews I should say on Google but we got in I mean pretty much almost immediately um, our server is very nice by the way um, I'll let you know if that continues throughout the meal um, so far we've gotten the uh, Quattro Formaggio as far as the fondue because it comes with several <laughs> things, a four course. Um, both got the Caesar salad um, and the classic. The classic has a variety of different meats like the chicken and the shrimp and the uh, dry rub um, pork. So pretty much going to see how this goes. Um, as far as the drink is concerned, we have something called the Love Martini. Yeah, what a name, but they also have a yin yang one in it, and that looks good too. So, um, hopefully, we're gonna have a great experience, even though this is the first time for us. So, you guys stay tuned, we'll be back with you.
based on your search and rescue spoon. So if anything falls off, you just use this to scoop your items out. So for our cook times, the garlic pepper sirloin is a thinner slice of meat, so it's going to take around one to two minutes. Uh, for our beef and our seafood, it's going to be around two to four, and then your chicken and pork is two to five. The vegetables are also two to five minutes, but the longer they stay in, the longer they soak with the seasoning and soften up, so you scoop them out whenever you're ready. All we're going to do is you will take all three of your family forks, you just take the items on the end, and you'll just lay them in there for your one to five minutes. Whenever you're done, you'll take it out, put it on your plate, go ahead and skewer three more, because by the time you finish eating the first round, the next round should be ready to take out. Make sure you're also not eating directly off of them, because they are going to be very hot from laying in the pot. Make sure you're going from your platters to your pot to your plates. To keep the uncooked food away from the cooked food, and a very hot pot to find handle and surrounding areas as well. Any questions about anything? Okay guys, so we're finally out of the melting pot. Um, the four course meal is oh, something else, it's a lot. Um, well, first off, like I said from in the beginning, we were seated very promptly, um, immediately actually almost. Um, we ordered the Love Martini. That was kind of a bummer, it was kind of a letdown. It was nothing more than, um, the best way to describe it would be juice. Um, and it's juice where you think hey there's a hint of something but you really quite don't know anyway but that since we weren't reviewing really the drinks anyway and just the food okay so I'll tell you that the food is very flavorful the broth is very flavorful um, as far as the cooking style the what we had was the coco vin um, it was pretty good um, personally to my sense of smell at times things weren't all that great but the taste quality was good um, also the particular broth that we chose that chose which was the cocoa van was a burgundy type of thing because it uses uh, um, wine in there so all of your meat is really much um, gonna be the same color if it's a white meat um, and we have the shrimp and all of that stuff um, if I'm gonna give my honest opinion and and that's how I want to base my channel um, I would not come back I would most certainly not come back and if I did it would simply be because of the Greystone wine that we had um, personally I think it is a bit overpriced for the little bit of food in which you get not that we came here to eat a lot yes I'm a big girl and I can put down some things but maybe not a lot um, that wasn't it for me um, the reviews were good now if this is your cup of tea that's fine I'm not gonna say that the food was nasty it was just not for me um, but for the little bit of food that you get and the the whole ambiance is so dimly lit that um, it makes it very hard um, and of course they have no way of knowing I myself am a chef so they had recommendations on how long to leave meat within the broth that is boiling however being a chef I have to be mindful 
that despite what they tell me, I have to go based on my own knowledge and that's education backed knowledge. But um, I would say the pros of it is, is if you like that dimly lit atmosphere, the ambiance, yeah, it's kind of cozy. We got set in a section where we were the only ones um, for a while and when we came out, we noticed there are a lot of people um, don't know what was up with that, but it could be because we had a camera as well and they didn't want to make the other guests uncomfortable. So with that being said, even though I think the melting pot is a great first experience for everyone to try, um, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a miss for me. Y'all take care.